And we are. Okay, y'all back. We we back with part two with my man PA Smooth. And you know, we just talked to him. We go talk to your boy a little bit more. He all uh, upset about the glass, but I think he'll be calming down as we get closer to the Prisco Center. We about to turn the place up, man. So let's just turn to the the the, the woman who Don't really made this up, all possible right here. First of all, ma'am, it's my first time meeting you. You know, no disrespect to your man. I just want to say you're a beautiful looking woman. Thank you know, you. out of respect. And um, so let's just talk a little bit about this son of yours. You know what I mean? How does it feel to be, you know, on your way to your son's concert? I know you're used to it, but I know you got to be proud of your son, right? Oh, yeah, very proud of him. Very proud of him. That's what's up. And uh, like I say, so it, 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 do you get any of... Uh, do you like the attention or do you like to be behind the curtains or do you like to sit with the audience and you know what I mean? Uh, I like, kind of like behind the scenes things. Like the behind the scenes yeah, things? Okay. They, they get the two-question maximum. Oh, you, you, yeah. oh, you, you telling <laughs> me like, to take it off, Mom? Yeah, take it off. Oh, take man, y'all hear that? It's like, it's like, you know what it's like? Well, hold on. Let's, let's, meet, let's meet my man. So, okay, so my man, now, what's your name again, sir? Hey, my name is Ness, man. All right, Ness. So, obviously, man, we on the way to the big event. What about you, man? Do you get excited when you hear the screams and everything? You get pumped up or what? Hey, when I hear my baby scream, that's the only thing I get excited about. <laughs> I, I know like that's right, man. man. Be a uh, PA doing his thing, and uh, I'm glad for my man. I'm proud of my man doing his thing. That's what I'm talking about right there. I'm always excited to get in here and see him perform and okay. throw down, man, all the all time, right. man. That's what's so, up. No, okay, yeah. so, Mom, I know you probably don't know, but I, I actually do have a blog talk radio, and it's kind of like taking the world by storm. And I guess you can see as, as we going now that, you know, I, I really take what I do real serious. Last night we had a real serious interview with a guy from out of um, Long Beach, California, Casper, who's a under uh, underground rapper, you know, but he's blind. And he broke this news for the first time to the audience after being on the show for two months and battling in this competition. So what are some of the things that, you know, looking for, let's say PA does become a big star. And I'm sure you'll like to work in the community and get things done like that. So what what's some of the things that you'll like to do to help out in your area, community and things like that? Um, just be there to support my son for whatever he decides to do. I've always been in his corner. Okay, well that's what's up. Well we don't we don't want to put mom on the camera too much, you know what I mean? But that's what's up. We thank you guys. Let's get back to the man of the hour, PA. So PA, what what, what are you expecting tonight, man? I mean, you know, each time I know we getting closer and closer maybe to you being this this next rapper, man. So just tonight, what do you expect? What do you want to gain out of tonight, man? Um, I just I like doing these concerts and shows in different cities. I ain't did a show in Aurora in a while. Um actually little known fact, I got recruited to play college ball at Aurora University. Oh, for real? Yeah, so college ball, what, football or uh, basketball? basketball? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what position did you play in point basketball? Guard. Point guard. Oh, yeah. for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, did you play in high school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What high school did you go to? Sullivan. Yeah, Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Sullivan. Yeah. I went to Stymass. Oh, wow, we used to whoop y'all. Man, we we had a fight with Sullivan. We had to catch the bus way up north in a train. Y'all got like yeah. this train. Man, I yeah. promise, we had a fight. Y'all was the colors like yellow and blue? Yellow and Am blue. I remembering right? Yeah. Man, you talking about Sullivan, Roosevelt, Steinmetz, Tab. <laughs> and then, uh, I used to, once I got recruited from uh, Sullivan to play college ball at the Royal University, that's how my music career really got serious. Like, I used to rap a little bit in high school, but I was like, Hip hop was my mistress, you know what I'm saying? Basketball right, right. was my wife at the time, that's all I was doing. Right. And um, when I came to Aurora, like, it started picking up, and I eventually got a studio in my dorm room. Uh -huh. And it got to the point, we got our, I got my first song on the radio, I had one of my first battles, that was around Chicago Idol, and a lot of stuff. It's like, man, I had to make a choice. Was it basketball or hip hop? And hip hop ended up being what I wanted to do. Well, I'm, well okay, basketball and hip hop. Where did the producer come in at? Like, did you actually start producing first and then ripping, rapping, just like, forget it, let me go up? And I told my man, next next interview I did, I was going to talk about this. Uh, a friend of mine in high school named Frank Opal, we used to call him Frank White, he played on the team with me. He put the first beat machine in my hand. We mm -hmm. used to rap together and everything. So I was just dabbling and rapping, like, it's cool, you know what I mean? But then he put that in my hand, he was showing me how to use that. I was like, oh, hold on. Mm -hmm. This is where it's at right here. Mm -hmm. Once I start making the beats, I start off with a Zoom, I think it's called Zoom 123, like a $200 beat machine. All day, I'm, mom think I'm asleep, I'm in the room, 3, 4 in the morning on the school night on the beat machine, uh -huh. working. Then after that, I just like getting more and more equipment. That's how I ended up with the student on the dorm room. So it was like, I was doing both at the same time. I always did both. Once I started getting serious, like just playing, of course, it's easier to rap because you don't need no equipment. 
but it was just real like freestyle and I knew I was good but I didn't take it serious. Once the beat machine came and I started putting the flow with the music, I was like, oh, I'm making songs. Right. Okay, well now I got some. Okay, well you know what, we go come back and we go close down with PA. We want to make sure we have some footage of the show and possibly the uh, at the party, but we do want to come back and I want to find out about the basketball cheers versus the performance cheer. So we'll come back with part three with our man, PA Smooth. We're getting acquainted. The Dynamite Show, League Money Entertainment Radio. And mom is in the building. That's yeah. what's up.